What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday over here. Bitcoin having a pretty good pump. Been talking about this for the past couple of days. Could this be an actual breakout or a rebound of Bitcoin and a lot of these altcoins here being dragged up by Bitcoin? We're going to be taking a look into this setup here for the overall crypto markets, what Bitcoin could be doing. Of course, the main topic in this video would be about Jasmine. What this coin could be doing. Is it still alive? We had a breakdown a couple of weeks ago, as I've been talking about for Jasmine. This will be an updated post and a follow-up to that. Going to be talking about some upwards and downwards price targets, as well as some key price levels to be looking out for to break in either direction. Of course, I'm going to be giving you guys my personal sentiment and opinions on this market later in this video. So make sure to stay around for that. Also, none of what I'm saying here is financial advice. Of course, uh, it's purely my personal opinions and speculations. I am not a financial advisor, nor am I an elite trader of any sort, even though I'm a profitable trader who's been able to keep most of my profits during the last bear market. But I am looking to crush it here for the next bull cycle. So if you guys feel the same way, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the charts. So currently we do have Jasmine here at about 0.34 cents. Okay. Uh, down slightly today, right? Not really getting too much of that Bitcoin move as I've been seeing with uh, other altcoins. Um, what could be happening with Jasmine here? Okay, let's zoom out to the weekly time frame because I think that's where we left off at in my last post, right? In my last post here, I did say that there was a double top pattern and that it actually broke down from this pattern. And uh, what we're really looking for in terms of uh, if you're a bull, right? You're really looking for a uh, a, a weekly candle close, right? To reclaim. I would say it's still about 0.45 cents area, okay? Because even though the neckline here is at about 0.43 cents, um, you don't want to go, you don't want to reclaim this area and then immediately get rejected by these weekly moving averages here, right? Um, so you have the weekly 21 at about 0.43 cents, and then you have the weekly 50 SMA at about 0.475 cents. So it's going to be a, a, an area of quite a bit of resistance, okay? Um, the 0.45 cents area, um, let, let me actually just make a correction there because since the last time here in the week of June 2023, um, we did get a weekly candle close at about 46 cents, okay? So let me correct that. Um, it's going to be, you're looking for at least a weekly candle close above the weekly 50 SMA because you don't want to get a weekly candle close uh, and then immediately get rejected by the weekly 50 SMA, okay? That's currently at about 0.47 cents area here, okay? Uh, it is coming down, but something to be looking out for, that is the gray line. Let's take a look into the three-day time frame here uh, where the price action is basically immediately underneath the three-day 21 SMA at about the 0.38 cents area. The three-day 50 SMA at about the 0.44 cents area. So that part of that area I'm talking about um, between the neckline here and quite a bit of uh, major moving averages. Weekly 200 is quite far away. Honestly, it's not something to even worry about. It's the orange line at about, you know, almost point, almost one cent. Daily, the daily moving averages, uh, we have the daily 21.36 cents area, daily 50 SMA 0.37 cents area, daily 200 SMA at about the 0.46 cents area, okay? Those are going to be some key levels to be paying attention to because you're probably expecting sell pressure to be coming from those major moving averages. Okay. The monthly 21 SMA currently about 1.15 cents area. The blue line here, it's uh, barely, you know, uh, available. So what could be going on in here? Um... Could we get any clues on if the price action is able to break back above 
that um that initial double top pattern breakdown. Okay, let's see if we can get any clues on the daily time frame here. Because in order for me to kind of get a clue of what could be going on on the weekly time frame, I look down to the to the lower time frames. Uh, I like to look down at the daily usually, uh, in order to tell what could be going on, uh, on the weekly. Right. Um. Let's take a look here. Okay. Right now, it looks like the price action did break down from a falling uh, a rising wedge, which typically breaks down to the uh, downside, right? Let's take a look here. So this is a rising wedge. You have broken down, right? And um, first of all, you really got to, you know, break back on, on top of the daily 21 and the 50 SMA first, right? Um. That's really what I'm seeing. Uh, you had a breakdown of this rising wedge, and then uh, in order to even get back up, you gotta at least break back on top of the daily twenty one SMA currently about 0.36 cents area, daily fifty SMA about 0.37 cents area. Keep in mind that these are moving averages and that they move. So, uh, w when you're watching versus uh what it is now in the recording may be different. So that's what I'm seeing. Um. It, I mean, in order to even get any type of price targets at this moment, uh, you really have to break back on top of uh the uh this this double top breakdown. Okay, about that point seven point four seven five cents area. Um, basically, a weekly candle close on top of the weekly fifty SMA. That is a um that's a high probability indicator. Uh, that this could be continuing upwards, right? In the short term, at least. Let's take a look into the monthly time frame and see if we can get a, you know, any type of. I mean, this could be some type of a double bottom forming, right? Um, but you know, it's yeah, it could be some type of of a double bottom forming over here. So, uh, something to be paying attention to if the price action was to continue breaking downwards, uh, could a possible double bottom on this monthly time frame, um, be in play instead? But that also means that there's gonna be more downside. So let's explore a little bit more of the downside here, because we gotta think about uh both sides of the trade here. Okay, so first of all. We're going to look at past trading history here because we don't have any major moving averages beneath the price action. Those are going to be some noticeable key uh, levels to be paying attention to, which we kind of described on the upside. But you guys might also want to check out, um, you know, whatever time frames you guys are seeing from past trading history. That will also give you a more detailed look in addition to uh, what I just named uh, for resistances. And uh, it could be support as well. Um, if you guys are trading both ways, right? But on this downside here, um, first of all, the key level here would be from past trading history from these candles at about 0.33 cents. And then about 0.29 cents area, okay, coming from this group of candles here. 0 0.28, 0 0.29 cents area, okay? Quite a few weeks from past trading history indicating supports. And then that's basically your all-time lows there, okay? Uh, if that does not hold, we're going to have to come back and revisit this and see um, what chart is in play and chart, uh, you know, the price action at that time. But basically, uh, I'm just reading from past trading history here about point. Two eight cents area. That's gonna be your all time low. Uh, if it actually breaks that all time low, we're gonna have to rechart. Uh, possibly what's going on here and estimate. Uh, how much lower could it go, right? Um, so that's what I'm looking at. Now, if you guys have made it this far into this video, thank you very much. If you guys don't already have a Weeble account but want to get some free stocks. Make sure to check out my referral link down below. They're still giving away free stocks valued up to $3,000. Terms and conditions do apply when you guys sign up using my referral link down below. Um, I did enjoy using Weibo as an exchange. 
I thought they were great for trading stocks and cryptos, but with any exchange, I would not put most or all my money on any one exchange. I personally diversify my money across different exchanges, so in case one goes down, I don't get wrecked. If that makes sense to you, uh, check out my referral link down below. I will also get a referral uh, bonus if you guys sign up with my link. Let's take a look into uh, you know, Bitcoin real quick. Uh, this would drive a lot of my overall opinions on the overall crypto markets. Bitcoin here uh, is managing currently to stay away from this break, uh, from this breakdown, okay, this double top breakdown. Um, you know, it was looking like it was getting really close to a possible breakdown. We did get a, a pretty good pump for the past couple of days, right? Yesterday, uh, I talked about this uh, smaller falling wedge on this four hour time frame here, right? Um, the smaller falling wedge that has been forming since August 29th. And then we have a breakout here. Okay, let's see if this move can actually continue. Let's take a measure move out of this breakout. It's kind of lagging here. Okay. Um, yeah, so here we go. All right, since we have an actual breakout point, just put the measurements on top of the actual breakout point. That will give us a 29.2K measure targets. Now, measure targets are estimates only, okay? Do your Google searches on what measure targets measure moves mean uh, because it's open knowledge. Don't just take my word for it. Go ahead and verify on your own. Uh, but this will give us a 29.2K uh, measure targets. Currently, it is at, I mean, it did break out of a, a smaller pattern after it has broken out of um, the falling wedge, which is an ascending triangle. It is trying to stay on top of the 4-hour 200 SMA, um, which is the orange line here. Let's see if, you know, if this will actually just continue pumping higher. Uh, without any pullbacks, I've definitely seen that from uh Bitcoin, you know, in a very short period of time. Um, or would this, you know, would this actually, you know, come up for a rejection somewhere and then come back for a double bottom before anything happens? That is something to be paying attention to because it's gonna drive my overall opinions. Over right now, my opinion on this market is overall bullish. Okay. I basically closed out all my short leverage positions as soon as, um, you know, as as soon as uh, I see that Bitcoin is reversing here, um, and I don't think anything good is gonna come out with, uh, short positions at this time. At least from the way that I'm shorting, right? Uh, I go with leverage. So, um, I am overall long on this market right now. Um, if you guys want to see. I don't have Jasmine, but if you guys do want to see um, more of Jasmine, do like, subscribe, or comment, letting me know that you guys do want to see a follow-up of this post. I will do a follow-up post if enough of you guys want to see it. That's it for this post. Thank you very much. Have a good day. See you guys later.